Hello and welcome to the Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. The Cardboard Coat Check is the silly name I've given our unboxing videos because I needed something hotel themed, right? To go with the whole Tabletop Bellhop thing, the whole Bellhop theme and the lobby, our chat room and all that stuff. Uh, if you can think of a better name, please let me know in the comments. I would love to come up with something slightly better, but I haven't come up with anything nearly as good yet. My gain is a little high. All right. So today we are going to take a look at a box I got from Kickstarter just last week. I know it's been a week. I should have opened it quicker, right? Uh, that is Gentis, 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 the Deluxified Edition from Tasty Minstrel Games or TMG. At this point, all I've done is open the box. So I know my podcast co-host is already gr grinding his teeth because he hates the fact when companies bother to waste the money to label their cardboard boxes. That money should have been put into the game. And I got to admit, he's not wrong. So here's how the box showed up. Like, this was not in another box. This is it. This is how it came. TMG logo and all. I guess they had to use the Kickstarter money for something. So that's a little bit of a thumbs down there. But if the game's as good as it's supposed to be, it makes up for it. So I got to say, this is a tightly packed box. There are no packing peanuts. And this is right to the top. I apologize for the shrink wrap. I'll be cutting that off in a bit. And I got to admit, if they want to intimidate anyone... Start with the organizer assembly instructions on the top of the box. Right there, you're going to have people going, ooh, closing this, putting it away. But that is because part of this is the game came with an organizer from, I think it was Folded Space. Does it say on here? It does not say. But it is a foam organizer. Very light compared to the cardboard organizers I'm used to. Um, assembly instructions, of course, on there. This one will require some glue. There are four sheets to this. Look at how thick this is. This is just for the box insert. Up next, you can see the game in here covered by some actual productive wrap. So it's good to see there is some wrap in here. I guess they weren't as worried about the cardboard foam. And that's it. There's nothing else in this box. This is a fairly hefty game. That is not easy to hold at that angle. Came nice and well wrapped. Thumbs up. TMG on that. I gotta say, that looks pretty. So I gotta say, if I saw this in a store, I wouldn't be buying it, because I have no idea what the game is about. But I think they realize that if you're buying the Deluxe Edition, you probably know what you're getting. So we are going to open this up. So for those who don't know the game, and I don't know it that well, this is from Spielworks. Spielworks is known for putting out heavy, brain-burning games, and that's what this is. TMG put this one out. So, that outside case where you can't see anything, it's just some kind of deluxe Kickstarter sleeve. Gotta admit, not a fan of these. I want to play my game, and having to take this on and off every time is kind of annoying. Sure, it looks pretty, but... Of course, maybe it's just there to protect the ever-shiny gold leaf. Here's the one time I do want glare. Maybe we can get some, some reflection there, but that is a very shiny gold tree, which is pretty impressive. The back also has the same gold foil. It's a nice touch. See, this looks pretty. This is kind of silly, but if it's protecting this, I guess that works. All right, so we're going to go through the back quick. Obtain a permanent place in the annals of time by guiding your population through the ups and downs of history. Choose the best path to victory while optimizing your use of time. In order to win, you will need to harness the capabilities of individuals from all classes of society. Gentis contains a clever timing mechanism that will require you to balance a multitude of different tactical decisions. I think that's a really long way of saying this is a point salad sieve builder. All right, let's open this up, see what's inside. All right, inside the shiny, shiny cover, we have this, that's uh, kind of a nice touch, FAQ already. Please replace these cards with Frienze and Villa in the deck of cards included in the game. This is, these are corrected cards. And there's a lock token, so there's a sticker on here to replace it. So I guess I kind of thinks that they screwed up printing something, but they fixed it. Nice touch, fixed right in the top of the box. Then we have the rule book, which notes this is a game for two to four players by Stefan Reisthau. 
Uh, this is actually written a little different. Oh, there's also a reference card. So it says, in the first millennium BC, city, states, and ethnic groups, sometimes spanning large areas, rose in the eastern Mediterranean. Through conquest and commerce, new states, kingdoms, and people rose and had their respective heyday. Now, compared to the last rule book I just looked at, that's a shiny, nice looking rule book. Lots of full color examples, looks good. Text is nice and readable. Oh, plenty of examples, tons. I love it. Love seeing that. Very impressive. Especially for a game that's supposed to be this heavy. Nice clear artwork, nice clear symbols. Very impressed. Looks good. I'm not gonna show you every page. Have to buy it yourself or download the PDF. No one's reading my the rules through my videos. I know it's two player rules, have special rules. Yeah, not usually a fan of that, but we'll see. Uh, so actual rules, 12 pages. So the same number of pages as that other game, though this looks much heavier. Uh, there is an expansion in here called the New Cities expansion, so that's included. So you go, rule book. We have a glossary of civilization cards, which wow, there's a lot. That's a lot. So there's era one, two, and three buildings. We have stickers, which I gotta admit is a little odd in a deluxified edition. You figure if you're buying a rather expensive deluxe Kickstarter edition of a game, they put the stickers on, but we do have stickers. Or they would use um screened. Not horrible though, I'm not, I'm not that opposed. Oh, here's one of my favorite things you'll ever see in a board game. Can you see that? That is a two layer player board with slots to put things in. I'm a huge fan of that. More and more games are doing it and I love it. Now I will note there is a slight warping to the board. So this seems to be a problem with these two layer boards. Endeavor was terrible for that. Terrible for that. This is not that bad. This one actually looks fine. Just the greens, just, just a small tiny bit warped. I don't know if you can even really tell holding it up there. So again, really nice. Dual layer, player boards, player colors. There's no yellow, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I play yellow, I always play yellow. You come to my table, I'm playing yellow. We have the board itself, looks very colorful, lots of icons, looks very language independent, and added bonus, two-sided. All right, this is, this is why I should almost do these on a table. All right, one side of the board, Looks like it's probably the one to two player side. No, it says one to two on both sides. So I don't know. I don't know the difference, but I'll show them both off. I can't see if you can see here. Board's too big, blinded. All right. Now why they gave you a box insert, I fully understand. That's a bit of a mess right there. So thumbs up for that box insert because I'm glad I'm not storing my game like this. So we have a pack of cards. We might as well open up. Okay, this all means nothing to me. So it says what it is, alter, winery, well, and gives a bunch of stats at the bottom. As usual for one of these decks of cards, we'll see if I can get it to focus. Okay, we are gonna try to two-hand this. Turn off autofocus, where is my mouse? Come on. All right, there we go. You can kind of see the altar card. Bunch of stuff. I'm probably out of focus here. That's all right, because I should be able to keep it here. There we go. Training ground. Shrine. Again, I have no clue. I got to admit, just looking at the cards, you can tell this is kind of a heavy abstract game. Well, there's a theme there. You can tell there's just a lot of mechanics on each card. And so we have cards for three different eras. Now, it's interesting to note this is definitely still staying uh, pretty ancient, right? Like the era three stuff is like mausoleums and public baths. So you're not jumping all the way to the future, right? You're not going to find the Bill Gates card in this like you would in Through the Ages. All right. Uh, baggies. Love it. Thank you. Though with the box insert, maybe I don't need them. Ooh, metal money. Money, 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 money. 
Okay, each of these is individually packed. Ryan Peach, if you're watching, listening, you're going to be happy. They're all different sizes. Plus, they are uh, embossed, so they are textured. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ryan, Ryan is visually impaired and often buys games with metal money because he expects it to all be different size for different denominations. And it often isn't, which is disappointing. So there's the ones. We'll take out a five and a ten. Very nice money. Very impressed. Five. And we'll grab a 10, and then I'll try to show you all three so you can see the size difference. These are in nice, thick baggies, too. And the 10s. So let's try to get all three up here at once. There you can kind of see the size difference. That works. Good job, TMG, on at least getting that done well. Okay, money, you know what, at this point, I'm just gonna toss them all in the same bag till sort of later. A baggie, shiny, uh, well, shiny is not the right word, embossed, actually, actually stitched, that's nice, that's not a sticker, that's not a, that's not a um, iron on or anything, that's literally stitched on there. Bonus, wooden bits, which I am guessing those stickers go on. Because they look like way too plain on their own. Ah, uh, lots of little wooden bits. I think I might... Yeah, you can see these in the baggie. I don't think I need to take them out. So wooden cubes. Some gray cubes. With one pink cube. Oh, I shouldn't say cubes. Squares, squares. They're not cubes. They're way too thin to be cubes. Wooden squares. And then some brown rectangles. Actually, that didn't come out so well. I'll take one of the brown rectangles out. These are typical board game component quality. None stuck together. There's a bonus. All right. Look at this bag of stuff. Crazy. It's a lot of stuff. This is your Deluxified right here in the bag. A whole bunch of stuff. All right. I have no idea. I'm going to guess player pieces in player colors. Oh, I, I honestly don't know. Oh, yeah. This video is going to be a long one if I start opening every one of these little bags. Some little blue houses. Here, I'm going to make a mess of it and hate myself later when I go to clean this up and put it into the insert. So I'm just going to toss stuff back in the box to keep this a little quicker. Uh, piles of uh, green something. Fairly thin tokens. Nice. I love the color. Very, very bright. That's nice. Usually you get faded greens. Oh, more squares this time in the player colors. Uh, more houses. These are only single peak roofs. So maybe these are houses. The other ones are factories or something. Who knows? These look like they could be mosques or some type of religious building. Oh, and I just noticed something. Interesting. I didn't realize maybe the other ones are like this too. So there's nice big chunky ones. And there's a little thin one in the same baggie. That's a little hard to hold on to. So chunky and thin in the same baggie. I'm just going to jump back to the blue. Is there a thin one in the blue? No, no thin one in the blue. So I have no idea. I don't know what. One's probably to track it and another one's to place on the board. So that's one little baggie. A lot of stuff here, guys and girls. A lot of stuff. Uh, more of these rectangle things in more colors. Uh, there's another pink one in the middle. So similar to these. Same deal. More colors. Cubes. Wouldn't be a Euro game without cubes. We have brown cubes. Lots of brown cubes. We have more rounded rectangles. Lots of these rounded rectangles. Another baggie of baggies. <laughs> you probably didn't have to include baggies in here, TMG. You gave enough with the pieces. Okay, these are pretty. Okay, they gave us stickers, but then there's these. Like, look at this. Wow. I, I have no idea what that's for, but that is a pretty quality gaming component 
two-sided, full-color guy with the funky rabbit hat. And then there's a bunch of little guys with rabbit hat. I don't know. They're rabbits. They had kids. I have no idea. Those are pretty. Now it seems even stranger they gave me stickers. When they were able to do that for this component, but not the other one. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of these. Here, I, I don't know if I'm going to take them out of the bag, but let's see if he... Now, I guess I got to take them out of the bag. So now we have a dude with a scroll and a bunch of little dudes with scrolls. Sorry, dudes, uh, folk with scrolls. Big dude, little dude. Big folk, little folk. Should not assume they are guys. Okay, there is a bunch of these. I'll just show you the big one. Person with a hammer and a tool bench, some kind of armor or something. There's more of these. Lots more of these. Person with a necklace. And again, there's small ones. Nice full color wood. These these are really nice pieces. I have no idea what they're for. Okay, this time I'm grabbing the little one. Such a came out. Little guy with pot. Little person with a pot. One more of these. These look like warriors. Got shields and spears. Topless warriors. And of course, little ones. Okay, right, we're about two thirds of the way through the bag. What we got next are hourglass tokens. Now I know a big part of this game is all about time and spending time. So you've got a ton of these hourglass tokens. Again, nice. Oh, I have it upside down. Not that you can really tell. Uh, nice full color tokens. Painted really nice. I don't see any paint scratches on here. And that one short. All right. What do we got next? Locks. I have no clue. Again, not knowing the game makes it a little difficult. The locks, again, nice full color markers. These are not cardboard, all wood. Oh, that's worth noting. There is not a punch board in here. Not one. Wow, there is not a piece of cardboard in this game. That's unique. They replaced every piece of cardboard, I'm assuming, with wooden bits. That's kind of cool. I, I think this is probably the first game that's not a card game that I didn't have to punch anything. My guess is first player token. It's large and ostentatious. There was someone on a podcast recently that was complaining about that. Games with large, ostentatious First player tokens. And then a two-sided purple tree thing. I'm going to guess that's for marking the um, time passage, like turns. So there you go. That is it. No punch boards. Odd. So now I'm going to try to put all this back in. You don't need to watch that. It's going to go back in here. Um, I might actually do a building video of this. So watch our YouTube. So uh, youtube.com forward slash tabletop bellhop. Check there because I'll probably do a, a live build of this. If I can figure out a good place to do it. Um... So you can watch me build this and then try to fit all this and you can't see it, but my desk's a mess right now and all that into this one box because that's going to be an interesting challenge. So that was Gentis, the Deluxified Edition from Tasty Minstrel Games. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can join me every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern where myself and my co-host Sean answer your gaming and game night questions. Speaking of those questions, you can send those to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Find us everywhere on the web, social media, Facebook, all those places as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Tabletop Bellhop, mash it together. Uh, if you enjoy watching this video and dig our other content, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Tabletop Bellhop. Now you can find links to this video and lots of other cool gaming content, including reviews, news, uh, look at what I played the week previous at tabletopbellhop.com. For tabletopbellhop.com, I'm Mo T. Good night and game on.